everyone. I was able to create a mean stack application on AWS and um, I was uh, finding out all the reference material that I could uh, get and found that most of the contents were um, a little bit old. Some of them were as far back as uh, 2012 uh, related documentation. Some of it made sense. Some of the options had changed, especially in AWS uh, that keeps changing. And um, uh, I thought I'll make a video while I set up my own basic website to begin with. Um, uh, so here we are. I'll be setting up a mean stack application on AWS and uh, using Bitnami Launchpad. I'm going to assume uh, you know bits and pieces of AWS, spe more specifically why you have chosen uh, AWS. If you if you do not know, probably you could uh, check other videos. And um, about mean stack, I would assume you know a little bit, um, and I will just run you through a sample uh, project that would connect to MongoDB, and uh, that should be hosted on AWS. So let's start exploring. First, let's open our browser and go to aws.bitnami.com. Now, for the first time, you need to first sign in into Bitnami's and then you can connect it with AWS. So let me click on this link, sign in with Bitnami. And in my case, I'm going to just choose uh, my Google account so that I don't have to enter any of these. Since I had already associated, it just redirects me to one of my account. Let me choose this and I'm signed in. So once this is set up, I need to uh, connect Bitnami to my AWS cloud. Go to account, cloud accounts. We see a one hour demo VM that you can create uh, in Bitnami itself, but we would like to launch our uh, Bitnami mean application in uh, AWS. So let's go to add cloud account. It's asking me for access key and security access key of AWS. We need to fetch these details from our AWS and enter them here so that there is a handshake between Bitnami and AWS. In order to create uh, access key and secret access key, uh, we need our AWS account. If you or, uh, if you don't have one already, you can go to aws.amazon.com slash free. So that give you, gives you access to free tier, uh, which is worth of um, almost a year usage with most of the free applications like um, uh, WordPress, PHP, um, MeanStack, and a host of other things. We'll explore uh, some. Uh, we'll just explore names of some of those later. Uh, so once you have signed in, um, you will be asked to sign in into your console. So once you, uh, since I have already registered to AWS, I have my account. So it signs in, and this is your uh, dashboard that you get uh, as soon as you log in into your AWS. Now we come back to Bitnami uh, page. Here in the same page, we have. Uh, a link here which helps us to create credentials. So let's click on this. It takes you to security credentials page of your AWS where you need to create your credentials. I click on continue to security credentials. I go to access keys as this is what we wanted. I already had one which was which, which is already deleted. Let me create a new one. It says your access key access ID has been created successfully and this it asked me to download the key file. I will download this as I need this file. And it also gives me option to show the access key. So I copy this, come back to Bitnami, paste it over here. So I come back to copy the access key. I see a space at the end. Uh, be careful not to copy any of the unwanted characters. Copy it back and then let's say continue. 
So yes, so what we have done is we have associated AWS Cloud and Bitnami. Now we should be able to deploy our mean stack application onto AWS. Let's go and go to the next step. It brings me back to the uh, Bitnami page, but now it has association with AWS. These are all the applications that you can launch through Bitnami, WordPress, Joomla, uh, um, Drupal, and so many others. Okay. So let's go back and find out where is our mean stack, and EAM. Let me search for me. And we have it here. So let me launch it. So it asks me to create a new virtual machine. So I'll give this mean um, stack name as HK. And so it is going to use Ubuntu. Uh, this is my cloud account, which is already associated. I'm choosing Northeast America and i'm going to keep it minimum of 10 gb minimum size that is 10 gb general purpose all defaults and i'll keep it nano so that my running costs are very low um, as such my um, my usage will also be very low so i'll just keep it at this and this is estimated cost is around uh, six dollars uh, it uh, uh, let me remind you that uh, the cost will be a little more than this as AWS also charges its own uh, if it is but I'm assuming that um, mostly my free tier will uh, cover this uh, but anyway be prepared uh, for about uh, zero to twenty dollars per month um, let's see how it goes let me create it And boom our server is ready not available connection is not available we'll look, look into this uh, later but for now our uh, virtual machine is created uh, it has 10 GB magnetic disk and 512 MB memory it's created in Northeast region so as you see here our uh, server is or our virtual machine is getting created uh, once it is 100% done, we should see a connection detail a connection here saying that it's, it's all up and running and Then we should be uh, we will see how to get connected to that and uh, um, Proceed with the next steps. I'll pause it here so that we save time So now I have my um, application up and running as you can see in the status and I also see a lot of details like the server information, what is its configuration, um, some of the keys, and how much does it cost to me, and other details. I also have reboot, shutdown, and delete options that I can execute on this instance or um, this mean application um, instance that I have created in Bitnami. I see manage. In AWS Cloud Console and go to applications. First, I would like to see um, if it is all up and running. Let's click on this go to application. Voila, our um, our initial application setup is done and it's up and red, uh, running with uh, its default page. So, this is the default page. Uh, you have uh, different instructions on how to uh, get started and uh, get connected to MongoDB and other. Um, other uh, stuff that you need uh, in order to continue configuring your application. So we go back. We have manage in AWS Cloud Console that takes you to the instance uh, in AWS that you can either stop, um, uh, delete, or resume, and other things, uh, along with other things like uh, you can change the roles and 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 such. So let's get back. Um, you can download this uh, .pem and ppk files. These uh, are the permission related files that you will need uh, in order to connect, get connected to uh, the AWS virtual machine. I'll make a separate uh, video on um, how to get connected to your uh, Rock Mongo and uh, 
your AWS virtual machine in general um, as that itself uh, is some activities a set of activities that you'll have to do in order to get connected thank you and see you in the next video